Hello people, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. My topic for today is Women of the Bible series and the case study is Miriam the Prophetess and her story goes like this. Miriam in the Bible is Moses' older sister and is called Miriam the Prophetess. Exodus chapter 15 verse 20. Then Miriam the prophet, Aaron's sister, took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women followed her with timbrels and, and dancing. Miriam is the sister who watches over her baby brother Moses among the bal rushes on the banks of the Nile, and their mother hid Moses in a basket on a river bank to, pro to protect him from Pharaoh's decree to throw Hebrew boys into the river. So um, Moses' mother hid uh, Moses on the river so that uh, so so that his life would be spared. You know the reason why uh, Pharaoh ordered the Hebrew boys to be killed is because he knew that um, he saw that the Israelites were multiplying and that the Hebrew boys would grow up to be men who would take over the land of Egypt. So Pharaoh did that so that he would decrease their population, but uh, uh, so that he would, the Israelites would not multiply. Um, Exodus chapter 1 verse 22 and chapter 2 verse 4. Then Pharaoh gave this order to all his people, every Hebrew boy that is born you must throw into the Nile, but let every girl live. Uh, chapter 2 verse 4. Uh, his sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. As Miriam watches uh, Pharaoh's daughter discover and beat his Moses, and Miriam quickly intervenes to ask if the Egyptian princess would like to would like a Hebrew woman to nurse the child for her. And the princess agrees and Miriam gets their mother. So uh, Miriam had to ask the Egyptian princess whether she needed help to raise Moses because you know Hebrew women they are able to raise uh, he provides better because they have the experience so you know Egyptians cannot uh, uh, raise the Egyptian boys because it is very rare so Pharaoh did not Pharaoh's daughter did not have the experience of raising Moses because Moses was a Hebrew boy and it needed a Hebrew woman to to raise the boy better and um, Pharaoh's daughter commands Moses' biological mother to nurse him and bring him back to her when he is older. So Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh's daughter says that the, that Moses would be raised, would would be nursed by his biological mother, and would come back to her when he's when he has grown up, and. By the grace of God, uh, Miriam helps save the infant Moses. Uh, Exodus chapter 2, verse 5 to 10. Then Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe, and her attendants were walking along the river bank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her female slave to get it. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his mother, then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she answered. So the girl went and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to, to her, take this baby and nurse him, 
for me and I will pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son. She named him Moses. Then I drew him out of the water. So, yeah, Moses had another brother, Aaron, and their parents, Amram and Yochabed. Uh, Exodus chapter 6, verse 20. Amram married his father's sister, Yochabed, who bore him Aaron and Moses. Amram lived 137 years. Um, who are from the Levite, Levite tribe of Israel. So Moses' parents became from the tribe of Levi. Exodus chapter 2 verse 1. Now a man of the tribe of Levi married a Levite woman. Uh, together, uh, God uses Moses, Miriam, and Aaron to lead the people of Israel from slavery in Egypt to their promised land in Canaan. So, God used Moses, Aaron, and and Miriam to deliver the the Israelites from Pharaoh's grasp. And Moses was Aaron was the uh, like the interpreter of Moses since. Uh, God told since Moses was a stammerer and was not uh, eloquent in speech, so God had to use Aaron to help him to, to speak with with Miriam. Uh, Micah chapter six verse verse four. I brought you out of Egypt and redeemed you from the land of slavery. I sent Moses to lead you, also Aaron and Miriam. Um, Exodus chapter 15, verse 20 to 22. Then Miriam the prophet, uh, Aaron's sister, took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women followed her with timbrel and dancing. Then uh, Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted, both horse and driver he has hurled into the sea. Miriam was a very good singer. She was very good in praise and worship. Uh, Numbers chapter 12 verse 1 and uh, to 2. Numbers chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. Miriam and Aaron began to talk against Moses because of his Cushite wife, for he has married, he had married a Cushite. Has the Lord spoken only through Moses? They asked. Hasn't he also spoken through us? And the Lord had this. So God was angry with Miriam and Aaron that uh, were so willing to speak against the servant he had chosen. And the Lord struck Miriam with leprosy. The reason why uh, Miriam and Aaron talked about Moses is because Moses had married the Koshite wife. Very sad. We don't talk bad about God's servants, even though they have their weakness, but do not talk bad about God's servants. Um, Numbers chapter 12, verse 13. Uh, so Moses cried out to the Lord, Please God, heal her. Uh, uh, num Numbers chapter 12, I mean, Numbers chapter 20, 
plus one. In the first month, the whole Israelite community arrived at the desert of Zin and they stayed at Kadesh. There Miriam died and was buried. Uh, that is all that I have for the women of the Bible series. If you've been blessed by this uh, video and if you've learned something from it, you can comment down below and see you next time.